welcome in. Let's see what's going on for you guys for the second week of December. Guys, I don't date my videos, as you know, because energy and time is fluid. If you're here, it's because you probably resonate with the title. Or to do a quick check-in, which is also fine. Uh, for those of you that are new, thank you for joining. Welcome in, welcome in. I only ask one small favor. If you like the content and you resonate with the material, please do all that happy stuff down below. All right, everybody else, do check out your moon and your rising as well as Venus to get a full, clear picture of what's going on for you guys. All right, let's get one more card and we can begin your reading, Gemini. Okay, overall theme at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands, guys. You are definitely emotionally guarded from a situation. If it's not you, it's somebody else. The sun is here. Either you're dealing with a Leo or others of you are maybe possibly dealing with some kind of reconciliation, possibly, with an Aries or a Libra. I don't know. They're all here because you have all major arcanas. I have three in a row. Libra, Aries, Leo. Anyway, here is somebody that is older than you, Gemini. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be an older person who may possibly want a reconciliation with you. Others of you could be dealing with court. You could be in court with somebody here, and in the recent past, you didn't know where it was going to go. But this is the card of karma. So this is karma falling on your behalf, or if you're dealing with the law, falling on your behalf. But I feel like... The universe is bringing you in this person over here to either to make, you know, in regards to being happy or having some kind of reconciliation because you are still guarded, though, very guarded. And I feel like for most of you, this is talking about some kind of reconciliation. You wanting to start a new chapter with somebody. Some of you could are looking to have a family or could be pregnant for some of you. Um, that's what I'm vibing here. So, but uh, the overall theme is this card, the nine of wands. Let's see, Gemini. In your situation, I have three of cups, either third party situation or reconciliation, dating or good news. High priestess, not talking to somebody right now or using your intuition with somebody or you feel a spiritual connection with them. Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody you feel that you have a spiritual connection with, that you've invested time and energy. And this is why you can't let them go. You definitely want a reconciliation with this person. Interesting. We'll see in a second. We'll clarify these and we'll see how this plays out. What is coming towards you is Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, this is work-related in regards to working really hard on your craft and you're very hopeful to do something with it. Some of you are becoming stars in whatever it is that you do. Like some kind of stardom or you're starting something big here. The something it's like a labor of love, but there is going it's very hopeful, it's very positive, and there's something positive um st about to start with this situation. Others of you, this is you know, remaining hopeful, wishing upon a star, going towards your true north, hoping to work out a situation with somebody. What you don't see coming is the two of pentacles. This is an in and out energy. This is an up and down energy. This is a juggling, but this is not sustainable. With the five of pentacles, trying to come in from out of the cold. You are out in the cold or you put somebody out in the cold. And it feels like Le Gemini, what the fuck? And I almost said Libra. Maybe you're dealing with Libra. I don't know. Gemini, what the fuck are you doing? You're in and out of being out, out in the cold. You're, you're in with the person. You're out in the cold again with the person. And if this isn't what they're doing to you, maybe you're doing this to them. It's like an in and out of being out in the cold. This is not good. That's why you have this, like, this, uh, this is not sustainable. This isn't healthy. It's going to drive you crazy, Gemini. Or, like, this person is doing this to you? I don't know, because this is what you don't see coming. All right, in your advice, Queen of Swords. Interesting. This is you not being stable. You need to find your stability, uh, at least, you know, because, uh, at least mentally, for sure. Because your mental health is on the line here. And it looks like you're not stable. And in your advice position, you need to get into the upright position. This is the Gemini Libra Aquarius card. And right now, in the reverse, this is you being nasty, short-sighted, uh, short temper, temper flaring, cynical. And you don't want to be this because this isn't your, the, your typical energy. So you need to get out of this funk and turn yourself upright. Now in your outcome, Ace of Swords. This is you also pissed, by the way. Um, 
Ace of Swords is here. There's a fresh new beginning. So this is positive, okay? You're going to have truth, honesty, and clarity regarding somebody that you're waiting for. Because right now, you need to make a judgment call. Do you wait or do you not wait? Do you wait for them or do you not wait for them? Because you want a fresh new beginning, whether it's with them or without them. You just need to move on. And it looks like this person might be coming back towards you and you're waiting for them. But here you are emotionally guarded because of this. You're in and out of being out in the cold. Let's go. Let's continue this. Let's let's clarify this. The Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the High Priestess, please. Let's clarify this for my Gemini, please. That was pretty quick. Yeah, death. There was an ending recently, and now it's trying to transform. Um, Three of Pentacles. Definitely a third-party situation, 100%. And now trying to collaborate with this person. This is pausing, taking time to see if you want to invest time and energy with somebody or some that you have. And possibly having a reconciliation because there was a third party situation and then there was the ending. And you stopped talking to that person. Yep, radio silence. No talky. These two cards, no talk. All right, let's move on. Guys, leave me your comments. I, I listen to everything that you have to say. And believe me, when you leave your comments behind, guys, somebody else resonates with you. So they don't feel like they're alone. They're not going through alone. So it's like we're all one big happy family in this collective, right? So sharing is caring. At least I care. The tower. Yeah, you guys definitely had a tower moment. And if you didn't, it's coming. And when this happens, it's because a choice is not a... No choice is a choice. Okay? Because you obviously weren't letting some kind of foundation crack. So the universe took it away from you. This is coming down the pike. So if this didn't happen, it's about to. This is why you're praying and hoping and wishing upon a star. But it is optimistic. It is positive. Because it's talking about divine timing, balance, and healing. Work on yourself right now, Gemini, okay? Because what's coming towards you is you are doing this kind of energy anyway because a foundation is about to fall apart, all right? And this was meant to be. It is definitely meant to be. And you're going to need to heal because these are two cards of healing and restoring balance in your life. So this is coming. So forewarned is forearmed. Not a sugarcoating reading. I don't. I, sh I don't sugarcoat anything, guys. I'm sorry. Um, not that kind of reader. I believe that tarot is a tool uh, to help you. So if you're here for that, awesome. Now this is what's coming towards you. Five of pentacles and the two of um, pentacles. This could also be financial, guys. You might be feeling some kind of financial crunch and you're trying to balance your uh, checkbook or your bills or your whatever it is. Others of you, you're constantly in and out of the cold here. What's happening? What's happening here? It's a five of pentacles or a two of pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with... Um, Capricorn is here. doesn't have to be. But there's something toxic. I mean, it's obvious that it's a toxic cycle. It's like you keep repeating poor patterns. If this isn't you, this is the person you're dealing with. That You're dealing with a toxic human being. You know, and there is a small offer. It's like um, the minute you leave them, oh no, Gemini, where are you going? Here's a pentacle, come back. And oh, I don't want you anymore, goodbye. New chapter, trying to start a new chapter. It's like you try to start a new life, you try to start a new chapter. Here's a, new, oh no, no, where are you going, Gemini? Here's an offer. Oh no, I don't, I don't want you anymore. I'll throw you back out in the cold because I'm a toxic devil person, you know? But here I am constantly stalking you. And the minute I feel like you're moving away from me, oh, no, 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 here's a pentacle. You're not seeing this. I'm telling you right now, you're not seeing this with the hangman in reverse. Seeing something from a different perspective and you're not. And this is what's coming towards you. Okay? And maybe that you finally do see this. You finally see what this is. What this is. Because coming towards you is a tower moment. Because you're not seeing it. So the universe takes it from you. And that's why it's saying, you're about to see this. You're about to see it for what it is. Because um, right now, it's got you in this position. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? And or any more advice for my beautiful Geminis? Four of 
four of wands in reverse yeah okay you need to fix your foundation with your home okay because there's something here where there's too much somebody here is drinking too much gluttonous like um there isn't moderation when i see this it's also feeling like a selfish thing is going on here um and if this is talking about you you need to moderate yourself right now okay gemini um, because I have the five of cups in reverse, you need to get, um, there, I know there's some kind of sorrow, guilt, disappointment. We, you need to get over this. So this is your advice now. Obviously you could tell me to go shove it, <laughs> but, and you, but this is what the universe is trying to tell you. If you want to help this situation out, firstly, we got to get over this period of change where this guilt and sorrow and disappointment is happening in regards to something to your foundation. Of course, that's a job or a love. A relationship this is a break of a home moving out breaking down a relationship and and this has got you all kinds of messed up so you need to fix your foundation regarding whatever this is and you got to get out of this funk this is an emotional funk that you're in because right now you're upside down let's see this can also this nine of cups could be telling me like you know when you're happy you're really happy and the whole world knows it you're happy and you know it you clap your hands you're clapping your hands and everybody can see it great but when you're sad you're also in this energy of like short tempered angry uh not bothering with people you want to mitigate that is what it's saying so now let's get back to your outcome because your outcome looks pretty damn good okay because we have an ace of swords we do have a fresh new beginning with you making a discerning judgment call but you are waiting for something or someone so let's go ahead and clarify this. Ace of Swords, Judgment, and Three of Wands, please. What's happening here? Those of you that are members, we're going to go into the extended, and we're going to do a little bit more clarification on this person that you're dealing with their intention uh, and their feelings towards you. We're also going to clarify the Romance Angels in a bit. Um, but those of you that are members, you can see the extended. Head over to the community page, and you'll find all the uploads there. Anything else for the outcome here, please? Yeah, okay. So there is coming a new point for you guys where you're going to have um, a fresh new beginning in conversation. There's going to be truth. There's going to be honesty. There's going to be clarity. You're going to be like, look, what's done is done. What happened has happened. I think we should move on. We should move forward and have this new beginning together, this Ace of Pentacles. Sorry, the light is all of a sudden beaming from this direction. But you're torn, okay? This is why you're trying to make a discerning judgment call here. Do I go back to this person? Do I not go back to this person? But here you are waiting anyway. Because at the bottom of the deck, there is an opportunity for a new beginning. And under that is you, single. Wanting to go to this. For some of you, that's a new job. And here's the contract. Others of you, this is a new relationship. With a fresh new start. But you're torn because you possibly could be waiting for somebody from your past. So now you have to make a judgment call. That's what I see here, Gemini. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. Romance Angels. Bust it. Yeah, deception is here, okay? Uh, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. You know who that is, Gemini. And sometimes this is talking about ourselves. Sometimes we are we self-deceive ourselves. So be careful that's not you. In the extended, I will clarify with Tarot. Um, also at the bottom of the deck, keep an open mind because there is probably somebody new here. Or some, you know, it could be the person that you recently dealt with. You know who this applies to, keep an open mind. It's the person that you're like, that, that feeling where you're like, meh, I don't know. Let's get some um, more Oracle cards from the Numenology deck. And then we can wrap up your reading. My beautiful Geminis. Meditate and contemplate. Maybe something you don't want to hear right now, but you know the energy is also gaining momentum. You might be torn between a decision. You, you're going to need to meditate and contemplate and take a time out to figure it out. That will best serve you guys. All right. For those of you members, I will see you at the extended. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you next week. Thank you for uh, listening.